As a general practice in our profession, we tend to give an importance to these three characters. The three C's, that is the context, the client, and the concept. See, basically context is something which is very relevant because that is what gives a guiding factor for us to designing. This is a beautiful plot in Bangalore where it's very close to Ring Road. Advantage for this particular site is it's a corner plot. And best part of it, Northwest has got a beautiful tree, which is flowering tree also. And then client. Client is the most important aspect because we are doing it for them. With all this understanding of the two C's, the concept whole thing was a nest because it's a bird or someone come and live in this space. Life will start inside that. Hi, I'm architect Raghunandan Guru Raj. I'm architect Nagendra. Today we're going to talk about Nest House. You can watch the detailed walkthrough and download a PDF for all the drawings, layouts and images from buildify.com. And this link is in the description below. What we have done in the lower level, we have this zone being dedicated to these caretakers unit. And then this rectangle is where the car parking happens. So as you take the staircase, which is positioned towards the corner, towards the northwestern part of the house, come to the landing over here, one which you get the glimpse of the garden space, which we have tried to like open towards this northwest part. So this becomes like in a smaller area. This also becomes like a veranda. This also becomes like an outdoor or the party space for them. So you see these green leaves through that shadow pattern. That's the same kind of a nest feel what we are trying to do with this fabrication detail, which also creates that light and shadow effect to this entire zone. And then you enter into the living space. In terms of configuration of the furniture, we have placed it in such a way that you have the TV and then you have the seating worked out in such a way that they are either looking towards the TV part or towards the garden portion of that. Considering the fact, uh, the way we are sort of uh, designed, especially the common areas, by giving ample ventilation, by creating an aperture towards the landscape area, it became very important and very interesting that uh, we had, uh, in fact, avoided using AC or fan in most of the places. So not only in terms of it is beneficial giving you ample light, but also it helps in terms of creating good amount of ventilation, negating the uh, importance of having fan or AC in the property. Now, as you walk into the interior part of the house, you get into the kitchen zone with a utility happening towards the corner and a powder room placed in such a way that becomes easy to access right from the kitchen as well as from the living portion. So here, one unique thing what we are trying to work out is place the store towards the corner and try to like create a huge island which happens right in the center, which becomes main kitchen and then it continues to become a dining portion. So when which you have the chairs placed in such a way that they are having again a, a neat view of the garden space. So basically by this sort of configuration what happens is we are trying to do this built mass which is towards the L shape and then try to like create a void over here towards the northwest so that the view from the dining, from the kitchen and from the living and also from the staircase when you keep moving around you have this connectivity of the garden space which in turn complements with the landscape what we have tried to like use towards the periphery which runs throughout the property. When you reach the second floor through a metal staircase, you come to a landing portion where which you either take a right going towards the master bedroom which has a toilet and a dress tucked in towards the western facade. And then the major opening is happening towards the garden portion. We try to create this as a temporal or a bridge which is worked out in fabrication because we didn't want it to disturb the void what we have already created. But at the same time, we made it very fragile over here, especially when you walk and come towards this particular corner, you become a part of the landscape, added to the existing tree, which some of the branches literally pierces to the nest. This is where the son's bedroom is located with a walk-in wardrobe and a cot and a toilet towards this corner.
we are trying to work out a study area in such a way that creating a huge void over here so you have a nice feel or nice visual contact to the garden space See, the entire house runs with these three important materials. One is the cement finish, and the other one is the mud plaster, and the third material is the fabrications. So we wanted to keep the palette extremely simple in terms of like playing with the very less materials, which makes the house look more vibrant and interesting, especially when you're playing with a smaller plot. So what we did was we tried to use the, the red soil waters available within the proximity of the site and we tried to like mix it with a polymer, in which we tried to like add a little bit oxide to it and got a texture to it. And this was applied on a plastered surface. By doing that, what happens is one is like you have an even surface and at the same time, this falls in, in few mm as a thickness. By doing this, we get the variation of grey, orange and red to it, which broke the entire monotonous of the grey thing what we have used abundantly in the entire project. When we are using fabrication, like you know the nest hole concept when we are doing, we were wondering which is the material, is a good material to use so that you will get a lot more natural light part of it. So I think the best material was steel is a very like you know flimsy or it can be bent in a however the way we want it and it also creates some kind of a perforation inside the house and another thing is the vertical lines which is very very prominent in this house starting from the gate or from the facade why we are taking those straight line which is flowing and it also follows outer surface of the interior where like you know kitchen background and the upper floor everywhere Considering the structure of the building, what we have done is we have gone with a composite structure at relevant point one, which is not required for us to like have these concrete columns. We have tried to like replace with a steel column so that it looks a little more spacious. By doing this, we have tried to achieve two. One is like in terms of making the space look a little more volume and in terms of making it a little more bigger. And the second one is like we could finish the building much quicker than the intended time. We were so happy to see once there's a bird which comes and strike this nest. That was our very happy moment where like, you know, I think somebody else, like, you know, other than the client, there was somebody else will come and stay and they enjoy that space. So that was beautiful to see in this house.